Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got some exciting new secrets from Dress to Impress that you might have missed. A lot has been happening recently. Items are being reworked, features are getting adjusted, and we've got some awesome sneak peeks at the upcoming holiday updates. Plus, before we dive into all these new changes, I'll be giving away some permanent VIP game passes to a few lucky viewers. To enter, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a like on this video, and comment below with your Roblox username and which game pass you'd like. I can even gift other game passes too. The first big secret is about the item removals that have caught many players off guard. As you may know, a bunch of items have been temporarily taken out of the game. Originally, they only planned to remove a few items, but it turned out to be a lot more than expected. Why? The developers found that certain items were causing lag and even crashes for players, especially those on older devices. I think this is a necessary step for the game. While it's sad to see some fan-favorite items go, optimizing performance is crucial. Especially as the player base grows, I'd rather have a smooth game experience than keep items that slow down or crash the game. What do you think? Are there any items you really miss? Let me know in the comments. Now here's some good news. The developers aren't just removing items, they're actually reworking some of them to make them less laggy and more compatible with all devices. Take a look at this example. The fur top. The first image shows the new, reworked version, and the second one shows the old version. You can see how they've streamlined the design. Personally, I love this rework. The new version looks modern and still captures the vibe of the original. Plus, it's more accessible for players with lower-end devices, which is a win-win. It's nice to see that the developers aren't just removing items, but are finding ways to bring them back better. Which reworked item do you hope to see next? I'd love to know what you're excited for. Another big change is the upcoming removal of dressing rooms. This will happen in the winter update, and while it might be disappointing for some, there's a reason behind it. The developers are aiming to improve performance for everyone, and removing dressing rooms is part of that plan. But here's the twist. While dressing rooms are going away, your saved outfits in free play mode will still be available. I think this is a fair compromise. Losing the dressing rooms might change how we experiment with outfits, but keeping saved outfits in free play helps maintain some of that flexibility. It's clear the team is trying to balance player requests with performance needs. What do you think? Is removing dressing rooms a big deal to you, or are you okay with just using free play? With all these changes, you might be wondering, why so much focus on performance and device compatibility? Well, Dress to Impress has grown quickly, with players joining from all over, and not everyone has a high-end device. By optimizing the game, the developers are making sure that as many people as possible can play without issues. I think it's great that they're thinking about all players, not just those with powerful devices. This focus on accessibility shows they want the game to reach a wide audience and be enjoyable for everyone, which is something I can really appreciate. Do you think this is the right direction for the game? I'd love to hear if you're experiencing better performance after these updates. One interesting hint we've seen is that some of these removed items might make a comeback. The team hasn't given a definite answer, but they've mentioned reworking certain items. This suggests we could see our favorite items again in a new, optimized form. I'm all for this. Bringing back items that are less resource heavy means we get the best of both worlds, cool items and smooth gameplay. I hope they keep going with these reworks because it'll make the game feel fresh and familiar at the same time. Now let's talk about something really exciting. The sneak peek for the Christmas update logos. We've got two different designs here. The first logo has a classic Christmas vibe with festive decorations like a tree and presents. The second logo has an icy winter wonderland theme with snowflakes and frosty details. We also got a sneak peek of a build we'll see in the Christmas update. The developers are even asking for feedback on whether we prefer the look with wallpaper or without. You can see the comparison here. The wallpaper adds a rich, festive feel, while the plain look has a cleaner, simpler style. 
I think the wallpaper adds so much to the Christmas vibe. It feels warm and festive, which is perfect for the season, but I can see why some players might prefer the cleaner look without it. What about you? Do you prefer the wallpaper or the plain background? Drop your vote in the comments. Here's a cool new feature. You can now enjoy free play in private servers. This is a game changer as it allows you to explore and customize in a private setting without any interruptions. Whether you want to try on outfits, test different combinations, or just relax without the crowd, private servers give you the freedom to do that. And that's it for this update in Dress to Impress. I hope you found these secrets and new features as exciting as I did. Let me know in the comments which update or feature you're most excited about, and don't forget to enter the giveaway for a chance to win a VIP Game Pass.